Hey everyone, I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And this is a free live webinar. And all of our webinars are open to everyone. You don't have to be a home inspector or a contractor or a real estate agent to attend one of our webinars. And if you register for any webinar, we video record them all and you'll get the link to the video recording to watch it later. So register for the next free live open to everyone webinar or watch any of the previous ones by visiting nachi.org slash webinars. And this is part six of the six part webinar series about SEO, inspector websites, keywords, and we've been learning for the past five webinars about SEO for home inspector websites, including keywords, website content, analytics, um, everything to measure your SEO efforts as well. So part six is how to use keyword intent and your website content strategy. Understanding search intent. Intent. What is the intention of the search when you go on Google? This is a great way to learn about your current and potential prospective clients. It gives us home inspectors valuable insight into the needs of the people searching the client's needs. So inspectors can appeal to them with website content that addresses those needs. That's the basics, right? For example, let's take a look at this common search, right? Coffee shop near me. What's the search intent? Well, I had to get some coffee. <laughs> What's the keyword? What is the keyword? Coffee. What's the keyword phrase? Coffee shop near me. What kind of coffee is being searched for? The nearest one. It doesn't even have to be any good coffee. It's not even the best coffee. It's just something near me. And what's the need? Is it coffee? You can yell out answers if you want to. I'll try to look. It ain't coffee. Nope. It's help. Can you help this person find some coffee nearby? Similarly, a common search phrase could be the best home inspector in Raleigh, North Carolina. I have an SEO strategy that incorporates research on keywords that are common for my area and that will signal to website crawlers that are indexing or making sense of my website content that I have exactly what a person using that keyword phrase is searching for. I am also signaling to prospective clients, potential clients, that I have what they need. And so what do they need? Well, I'll show you. They need this fella right here. They need to find the best inspector in Raleigh. <laughs> Bam. That's my website. And we'll talk a little bit about my website. In the previous webinar, part five, we learned about keyword intent and how people search to find home inspectors. But in this webinar, part six, we'll learn how to use keyword intent in your inspector website content strategy. Now, what is website content strategy? Strategy. Website content strategy, content strategy, is when you create and you plan and you publish and you update content on an inspector website that aligns with your business goals. So you publish content that does these five things. One, shows your passion for inspecting homes and buildings. Two, provides unique, valuable information to people. Three, answers questions or solves problems 
in people's lives or fulfills the needs that they have, provide answers. Four, ensures that other people in your market love your services. So that means like testimonials and Google reviews. Five, shows that you are highly qualified, certified, internationally certified for providing the previous four things. And you publish nothing else. That's an example plan and a, a strategy to create content, text, images, pictures, videos, and publish it. And then just don't let it sit there dead. You update it. And it all aligns with your business goals. A website content strategy involves understanding the needs and behaviors of the target prospective client. This is easier when it's focused on identifying key performance indicators and goals, and then determining what type of content will be most effective in achieving them. So what's a key performance indicator? Um, it includes the behavior of website visitors. That's a key performance indicator. It's the behavior of someone visiting your website or a ton of people visiting your website and how they behave when they visit them is a key indicator of how that website is performing. And that's available to me to see in real live time through my Wix dashboard of my home inspector website. Let me show you. I'm not just saying that. Let me show you. So here's my website, right? Here is my Wix uh, editor backend kind of thing. I can change the picture. I can change the, change the logo if I wanted to. But here's my analytics. And here's that behavior overview of the website visitors. Where are they going? When someone lands on my homepage, where do they go? Well, they go to my services. Look, they go to my, oh, let me, let me use my, let me use this fancy thing. I don't know what it's called. It's fancy. They go to my services and fees. So they land on my homepage. This is the past 30 days. 200 people have landed on my homepage and they went where? They want to know what I do. 50 of them went there. That's cool. They went other places as well, but most of them went this way. So they, they come here, they go to my services and fees. Then where do they go? This is called the analytics. You're, you're looking at the behavior of people visiting your website. If you hired a website design company and they don't provide this to you, how do you measure key performance indicators like this? How do you know what people are doing on every page? How do you know what people are clicking? Every button people click. How are you? You just like lending out there and like, all right, let's, let's roll the dice. Let's see if the website works. I know where everyone is going in real live time too. So there's this thing called real time. And if you visit my website right now, go to bigbeninspections.com. This live visitor clicker will go up. I can see where everyone is visiting. And then I could chat with them live time too. And I can really see the behavior. That's a key performance indicator right there, right? Okay, so my website was designed by a website design company, InterNACHI's official vendor for inspector website designs, and they use Wix. Why? Well, it gives me full admin access to all of my analytics to look at my, look at the behavior of my website visitors. I want to see where people are going. What do they do? What buttons do they click? And when? And for how long? And how successful is my website in converting just visitors looking for information into a transaction, a scheduled client? Because that's my ultimate business goal. And those key performance indicators along the way from moving website visitors looking for information into a transactional scheduled client can all be watched in real live time using my Wix dashboard. So I've now have two website visitors, right? In the past 30 minutes, I, where are they? Where they've been landing on the homepage 
and I can chat with them as well. It's pretty cool. So let's go back here. A content strategy also involves creating a plan for regularly creating and publishing and promoting and updating content, like updating your Google business profile, updating your inspection block. Those are two great ways to do just that. And Wix, again, provides a marketing calendar to remind you to go publish some content today, right? So you have to get on a regular schedule. So let's let's uh, let's figure out where to get content. Go to nachi.org. I did a I did a webinar recently, an Internachi webinar. It was called "Effortless Blogging for Home Inspector Websites," and that title I, I give it give credit to my wife for that title. It's a great title, "Effortless Blogging," because it's difficult to create content all the time, especially on a blog on a regular basis that has certain keywords that indicate to a, a searcher that you have information that they want. But I taught about that and you just go to natchiorg slash webinars and you search for effort. I think it will just pop up and watch that. It's probably a half hour video. And internet has resources so that you can blog. Okay, let's just do a Google search for a home inspector. Okay, and let's look at how you can read the search engine results page, we call it SERP, to determine the intent attributed to different types of search terms, okay? So we're gonna do a, a search for a home inspector in a certain area, and why don't I just pick someone's area, because I asked you to say hello by text and say where you are. So let's just do that, right? Let's just go there now. Let's just do a Google search. So let's go to Google and let's type um, home inspector near cold, Lane says cold water, Michigan. Okay, so here's the search engine results page. I'm not even sure they're going to use that anymore because there are no pages anymore. It's just a continuous st scroll. So if anybody says, hey, I can get you on page one, that's scam, okay? Don't fool for that. Fall for that. Uh, the top is pay to play, right? So up here, you can click these little dots here and it says, these results show select local businesses that serve your area. And some of them, all of them are ads, businesses that pay Google to appear in these results. So if you wanna be on top of, there's no page one. If you wanna be on top of a SERP, a search engine results page, pull out your credit card. That's an easy way to get up there, baby. Just whoop, shoo. careful. It's really expensive, right? And you can also get Google guaranteed. That's a thing. Uh, you can do it. It it helps you rank higher. Then here's a click more things. This is info that ga Google gathered, right? And it's not personalized. It's a result um, that it's about search terms and places or services that you had in your search, right? And just using local information, businesses, services. But what Google said, you can figure this out, right? They like Google reviews. So this one is doing well, has five star reviews, 13 of them. Easily identified as a home inspector. Got the area here, got a phone number, got a name, got an address. So Google has indexed, or we learned about indexing in the previous webinars. They, they, they made sense of your website and it seems like it's gonna match up with this search. So they put it second. Wow. But I think no one really knows, but the Google reviews are really important. Here's a section about questions. This is really valuable to you if you're trying to figure out what kind of content you should put on your website in your certain area, people also ask. So Google has said, people searching with that keyword search have also searched for these things. So ding, you need 
the keywords that are in that search, home ins- what do we do? Home inspector near cold water, Michigan. So you need home ins- the word home inspector on your homepage, right? Maybe even in your, in your domain, maybe on a blog, maybe on a page, a title, subheading. We, we go through that in the previous webinars. And then maybe you want information that answers these questions. Remember, you got to provide people with answers, right? Valuable information. How much do home inspectors charge in Michigan? You can write that as a title in your blog, right? Try to compete with people who have paid with just free information. That's of value to people with a particular keyword search. So let's see who has this. Uh, Huzio, I don't know anything about Huzio.com. Sounds like a, I don't know. Um, it's not a home inspector. It's like a Zillow or something. And they have, they they popped up. I mean, we, a home inspector should have that. I don't know who Huzio is, but it's not a home inspector, right? So we should have a home inspector answering everyone's questions. Do home inspectors need to be licensed in Michigan? Homeinspectioninstitute.com. That's a training program. No, we want home inspectors answering these questions so that a home inspector website is landed on, right? And then obviously here's internet G. That's why you need to be fully certified and um, have your profile updated with your zip codes and your website and your name and address phone number in your internet G dashboard. Then you have home advisor and Yelp and things like that. So that's a quick uh, description of what is going on and oh, and then it just keeps scrolling, right? It just keeps scrolling. There's no, it doesn't keep going to page one. See, it just keeps going, scroll. So um, whenever you see anybody talking about, oh, I'll get you on page one, just delete that. They don't know what they're talking about. We did that. The search terms people use are generally grouped into these four categories, informational, navigational, commercial, and transactional. Whether a keyword is informational or not is determined by the type of content shown in the results. Uh, And also the presence of all those little things like little snippets, uh, uh, search result features, like people also asked, or maybe a map. So when we go to informational, when people are looking for information, they often use questions, words such as how, um, what, why. For example, what does an air filter do at my furnace? Or why should a downspout be diverted away from a foundation? Or how much does a mold inspection in Michigan cost? Or how does the roof slope affect the performance of the asphalt shingle roof, right? So you can see different types of search engine result page features, like we saw before, like knowledge panels, little snippets, the people also ask box, um, when people, when Google thinks that a searcher is looking just for information, that's an informational search, right? So let's, let's do an informational search. Let's just do one. Let's do an informational search about, um, let's go to Google. And this is what you should do. This is homework. You should be doing this as well. Trying to figure out, you know, keywords. And if, are you popping up? Do you have keywords on your homepage? Right. So let's do a a search for how does the roof slope affect its performance? Okay. The first thing that pops up is a roofing company in the UK. That's embarrassing. Someone in the United States should write an article, hopefully a home inspector should write an article about how does the roof slope affect its performance, right? Oh, it looks like someone did on Reddit. How does the roof slope affect someone's performance? And actually that was me. I I wrote that five minutes ago, uh, five days ago, just to show you um, how you can use different platforms, not just your website, not just internet, but other platforms. And also in order to um, signal to searchers 
looking for information that you have that information. Okay. So these kinds of keywords might not immediately generate leads or scheduled clients, but they can indicate the types of answers your prospective clients are looking for. We had this graphic in a previous webinar. It's called a funnel, a sales funnel. And the top of the funnel is content. And we learned about this in other uh, webinars, previous webinars. The top of the funnel content caters to informational searches, right? That is valuable. Be, uh, that's valuable for people looking for information, but it's also valuable for you because it allows you to develop yourself as an authority in providing that information, providing those answers to those types of searches early in the client's journey, which can make your company the right choice for them by the end of the journey, which is at the bottom of the funnel where they convert into a client. You can also use keywords, informational keywords, to search for content your competitors have published. This may help you identify some gaps you can fill. Like there wasn't a whole lot of information about home inspectors in cold water. That's an opportunity to fill that gap as an expert in your industry, in your area. So let's do another search, right? Let's do another search. Let's go to Google, Google. And let's do a, another informational search. Let's go, how much does a home inspection cost in, I'm looking, can be Oregon. Okay, the first one that pops up is packwesthomeinspections.com and it's answered in a blog. Congratulations, that's awesome. Let's visit the, let's visit that. Awesome. Please select your location. Look at that. That's a pop-up. Uh, let's go, I don't know, Portland. All right. That's cool, man. That's really good. Oh, well, there's a lot of a lot of words. But that's an interesting. Let's see if we can get it to look really cool. There. Now that's a nice looking website. Congratulations on your blog, right? Your blog answered the informal informational search in that particular area. How much does a home inspection cost? in that particular market. So consider creating and publishing content that signals to informational searches that you have a website that they want to visit. Okay, so that's informational. Navigational. Search terms that show a person is looking for specific information about a brand, a product, or a service, or location, in a location, are known as navigational keywords. That's something specific. They are common for businesses, places, things, people, and can provide a stream of organic traffic for well-known companies. And you can spot that Google has interpreted such a navigational search when it shows the domain names or features like map or local knowledge panels in the search results. So let's do, let's go to Google and let's do a search. Find an InterNACHI certified home inspector near me. Okay. So when you, when someone does that, InterNACHI just pops up all over the place. We even beat anybody who paid for that, right? So here, Google might think that the user's intent is to navigate to InterNACHI's page of certified home inspectors. So you should do a bunch of searches, right? Here's your homework. Analyze the search engine results for your inspection company name, like Big Ben Inspections. See how well it ranks. Internet actually ranked real high, right? See how Easily potential clients performing a navigational search can find you. Do your own search for keyword phrases, headings, topics, 
inspector name, particular services, or blog article titles that potential clients performing a navigational search may use. And then marking up your content with structured data can help search engines learn more about your, your inspection business and contextualize it, leading to better search results for navigational keywords. Now, what is structured data with markups? Um, I use Wix for my inspection business website because it already comes with structured data markups when I create pages on my Wix inspector website. Structured data in my Wix site is essentially writing sentences in a language schema that describes my website content to search engines. And basically it's, it's pretty easy. You want people who are searching for you to find you. That's what it is. Now for local inspection businesses with a physical office or location in particular, ensuring that your citations are consistent can help customers physically navigate to your business. And SEO citations are your business name, address, and phone number, N-A-P, name, address, phone number. And you are consistent on all the directories and websites like Reddit, Angie's, LinkedIn, Yelp, Internachi. It's how your customers find and get in touch with you online when they need your services, NAP, name, address, phone number, and be consistent everywhere and update your Internachi dashboard, your profile with that information. When a searcher includes a product or company name in their search term, it's likely that they're considering a purchase. So a search like Big Ben Inspections, that's a direct search, right? They're not really searching for a home inspector near me and finding me. They know my name. That's a good example of a keyword with a commercial intent. The search engine results page for that term may include reviews, internet lead generation, social media channels, a Google business profile, inspector website pages that show Google is serving content that aligns with the commercial and transactional ends of that customer's journey. So here's another homework assignment. Evaluate the landscape of search engine results for inspection services you provide or and that your competitors provide. Do some searches, Google searches for inspection services or those unique value propositions that you provide to clients that are described on your website. But then look at the search results for your company and compare it with your competition. Spy on them. Figure out why they're ranking better than your website. Are the keywords and keyword phrases used in certain searches not triggering your website content? Is your website content signaling like a wave, like a flag? Yo, over here, like a flashlight in the dark. It should be signaling to search engines that your website has exactly what's being searched for. So you want to check for like, are, are there customer reviews on your com uh, competition's website? Because we saw when we took a look at search engine results that Google reviews are important. It's easy to get Google reviews. Even if you don't have any clients, you're a brand new inspector, just do a bunch of neighbors that do their inspections and ask for a Google review. You're doing a home inspection, let them review that home inspection service you provided. It doesn't have to be a paid service. Just do a home inspection for free and get some Google reviews going. You can also ask yourself, is the information about your services straightforward and easy to understand? Like there should be a page about services and fees. And it, it shouldn't be very confusing. No long paragraphs about what a home inspection is. That was 1990 when we were trying to teach the population, everybody, what a home inspection is. Now everybody knows what a home inspection is. So don't waste any real estate on your real estate space on your website saying things that's irrelevant. 
are there educational or promotional inspection videos on your site? That's really good because Google owns YouTube. So answers to these questions and searches can help potential clients move from informational to the commercial to the transactional phase. We want to get them to transactional. Commercial. When people are ready to take action, such as scheduling a home inspection, they use transactional keywords, right? Oh, my slides. Sorry. Commer we already saw this. I wanted to get to the homework assignment. Here it is. Here's your homework assignment. So do searches. Search for unique value propositions. What are unique value propositions? Well, why should I hire you instead of anybody else that's a home inspector in your market area? The answers to those questions help you develop what is unique about your inspection business and the incredible overwhelming value that you provide in relation to the cost. Okay, let's get to the next category. So when people are ready to take action and schedule an inspection, this is called a transactional keyword search. And these words or phrases can use things like hire, schedule, now, and signal the very strongest intent to convert. And Google search results may contain ads, service listings, videos, profiles, customer reviews for these hot search terms. Usually these searchers have already carried out their informational queries at the top of the funnel, remember? And to an extent, they already know what they're looking for. They know what they want and they need to do something and they need to schedule an inspection. Bam. So at this stage, search engines want to serve timely results that help users complete their intended actions. So ensure that your web pages that are ranking for transactional terms are well written and conversion focused so that potential clients can easily complete their desired actions. Don't make it difficult. Don't put a form <laughs> to hire you where you have to put your first name, middle name, last name, social security number, email, and then you get a big open paragraph and then you have to describe how many bathrooms and square footages and all that stuff just to hire you. That's insane. Google doesn't like that. Google doesn't like, Google doesn't like long forms in order to transact someone, convert someone. Okay. Need a button. And fortunately, Internachi has a call me now button. You might as well call it a schedule me now button, hire me now button, and it's free. You got to embed Internachi's call me now button on your website. With a click of a button, you can be hired. That's fast, right? So your website should have these design features like Internachi's call me now button to convert website visitors into scheduled clients. Make sure your web pages that are designed for scheduling include text terms that mirror the keyword searches for a transactional search, right? And those keyword searches, the keywords are schedule, book, call, hire, now, calendar, contact, text, meet, email, anytime, confirm, things like that. They want it quick, quick transactional page. Where there are multiple possible intents behind a search term, there are various opportunities to create different kinds of content to appeal to them. Take this search term, infrared home inspection, for instance. It can have both informational and transactional intent. One searcher might want to read about using an infrared camera on their house, while another 
might want to go straight to hiring a home inspector who's internationally certified as an infrared thermographer. So a long form blog article about the advantage of using infrared during a home inspection and the benefits of hiring an infrared certified inspector by InterNACHI might just be fitting for your content plan on your services page that contains this kind of description and fee for an infrared home inspection. So my site and sites like my site, bigbeninspections.com are good examples of how non-transactional content on a page or in a blog can attract people to the top of the buying funnel. As an inspector website, Big Ben Inspections doesn't solely focus on inspection services. It provides tips for home buyers. It, we got home maintenance articles. We got a blog. We got social media posts. Let me show you. Go to Big Ben Inspections. There we are, right? So here's home services qualifications, sample report. Actually, this is the sales funnel right here. If you go to behavior, home services, qualification, and they go to schedule. Um, blog, go to the blog and FAQ, like how much does it cost? Uh, how much does a home inspection in Michigan cost, right? Remember that was a search thing that we did? Look at all the, there's a, it's, Wix makes blogs posting very easy, right? So I have got some articles here. It's been been read. Oh, there's infrared thermography. Ask yourself if you're attracting the right traffic with the content you're creating. So just dive deep into the, into the details of individual keywords and their respective intent to determine this, whether or not You've got a diverse spread of content that can attract and cater to all types of searchers. Think of, just think about what a searcher is searching for at every phase of your client's journey. Maybe it's a home buying client's journey. What is the, you know, under informational, go back to the sales funnel. What kind of information are they searching for? Yada, 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 commercial navigation, transactional. So that you can capture anybody searching for you at any stage. Outdo your competition with your various user-centric content pieces by conducting that regular analytic reviews of your website. You should have full admin access to all the analytics for your website provided by your website designer so that you can adapt to the changes, behavior changes of your website visitors. If you're noticing that a lot of website visitors are bouncing off your homepage, that's not good. If they're going to a page that you don't want them to go to, that's not good either. If, if it seems like all of your web pages are not moving anybody through the sales funnel to Converting them, that's not good, but it should be easily seen visually by you. Okay, it's SEO and website design and it's keyword stuff. It's very easy. If you're talking to somebody about SEO and they're saying it's very complex, just turn and run away. SEO is very easy to understand. You should hire a website designer that explains exactly what tasks, SEO tasks they're doing. Force them to write it down and show that it was completed, maybe with a green check mark. And then force them to show you the sales funnel representation in your analytics in real time. You deserve that. Home inspectors deserve all the information they need to be successful. Okay, I'm fighting for that. So again, I'll show you the, the admin, my admin side. Hey, I've got, in the last 30 minutes, I got four visitors and uh, that's cool. That's awesome. They come from Google. Three of them came from Google. One of them came direct. 
Um, they visited my homepage and then went to my qualifications and they visited my blog and then services and fees. <laughs> and 100% of them are on desktop. Awesome. That's really cool. But you can go to your behavior view and I can even see, I can analyze the button clicks on my website to make sure every button on my website is doing what I want that want them to do. I want to take people who are looking at, for information to get to the next stage, right? Navigational. I want them to look around. And I want them to get commercial and transactional. So it's a, a user experience. Google loves, I think Google loves web pages, websites that are built well with a good user experience and with keywords that signal that your website has what people are searching for. And get these analytics, man, right there. So you can see the sales funnel, bam. So in summary, make sure you choose an inspector website design company that knows how to use SEO and keyword intent and your website content strategy. This information in this webinar is provided by Wix because InterNACHI's official vendor for Inspector Website Design uses Wix to build custom websites exclusively for InterNACHI members. And we just learned about keywords and creating the right website content to help convert visitors into scheduled clients. Email me, ben at internachi.org, and tell me what topics you wanna learn next. And we'll put it together and present it so that it's clear to understand and easy, easy to apply to your business. InterNACHI helps inspectors be successful. And InterNACHI webinars is a great place to get awesome information for inspectors to attain their greatest goals. On InterNACHI webinars, nachi.org slash webinars, and on InterNACHI podcast, the Home Inspector podcast, that's at natchiorg slash podcast. We talk with the best inspectors and vendors in the inspection industry. And we talk about performing inspections, operating successful businesses and applying marketing strategies. Please join us for the next webinar at natchiorg slash webinars. I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. Thank you. It's an honor to be with you and teach you what I know about this topic. Stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you on the next webinar. Bye, everybody.